Now open your question paper and look at part one. You will hear people talking in eight different situations. For questions one to eight, choose the best answer A, B, or C. One. You hear a young fashion model talking about the first magazine feature she appeared in. Why were she and her sister chosen for the feature? A. They were willing to change their hair color. B. They looked very similar to each other. C. They looked good in the designer clothes. Well, basically, what happened was they were looking for like a blonde girl to appear in this before and after magazine feature. You know, they let a hairstylist and a makeup person loose on you and put you in designer clothes. Then they publish photos to show how much better you look afterwards. Anyway, they weren't actually looking for twins, but like our mum sent in a photo of both of us together, and I guess they just thought like, hey, yeah, that's not a bad idea. We can make them look different to each other, because until then, only our mum had been able to tell us apart. Well, basically, what happened was they were looking for like a blonde girl to appear in this before and after magazine feature. You know, they let a hairstylist and a makeup person loose on you and put you in designer clothes. Then they publish photos to show how much better you look afterwards. Anyway, they weren't actually looking for twins, but like our mum sent in a photo of both of us together, and I guess they just thought like, hey, yeah, that's not a bad idea. We can make them look different to each other, because until then, only our mum had been able to tell us apart. Two. You hear a woman on the radio talking about her experiences at ballet school. How did she feel when she left the school? A. Relieved. B. Embarrassed. C. Depressed. Well, I wanted to be a dancer, and my parents supported me in my ambition too. So at the age of fifteen, I went to ballet school, but it didn't work out, unfortunately. Schools like that want to take you apart and put you back together again. It's part of the discipline, but your character is suppressed. Anyway, I didn't stay there long. I got kicked out at the end of my first year. At the time, it was a low point for me. I considered myself a failure, but now I can see that it set me on the path to what I do now, working as a TV presenter. Well, I wanted to be a dancer, and my parents supported me in my ambition too. So at the age of fifteen, I went to ballet school, but it didn't work out, unfortunately. Schools like that want to take you apart and put you back together again. It's part of the discipline, but your character is suppressed. Anyway, I didn't stay there long. I got kicked out at the end of my first year. At the time, it was a low point for me. I considered myself a failure, but now I can see that it set me on the path to what I do now, working as a TV presenter. Three. You hear a student talking about a part-time job he does. What attracted him to this particular job? A. The opportunities for promotion. B. The chance to use skills he already had. C. The amount of money he's able to earn. I started as a general helper at the kart racing centre. Now I've worked my way up to race director, which I never expected. I've always been interested in cars, and I know a little bit about car maintenance. So this was exactly what I had in mind when I set out to find a part-time job. It's not exactly hard work, and I get to have a laugh with my mates. It's also good to get away from college work a few nights a week, and of course I earn around a hundred pounds a week. I could make more elsewhere, I know, but I wanted more from the experience than just pocket money. I started as a general helper at the kart racing centre. Now I've worked my way up to race director, which I never expected. I've always been interested in cars, and I know a little bit about car maintenance. So this was exactly what I had in mind when I set out to find a part-time job. It's not exactly hard work, and I get to have a laugh with my mates. It's also good to get away from college work a few nights a week, and of course I earn around a hundred pounds a week. I could make more elsewhere, I know, but I wanted more from the experience than just pocket money. Four. You overhear a man and a woman talking about a ride at a theme park. What does the man say about the ride? A. It was too short. B. It was too expensive. C. It was too frightening. That was fantastic. Shall we go again? 
Not me. I could live without doing that again. It was over so quickly. You were determined not to enjoy it before we got on. You moaned about the cost. No, really, it wasn't that. I just thought there'd be more to it. <laughs> Judging by the colour of your face, I reckon you were scared. You'd probably have been sick if we'd stayed on any longer. Oh, yeah? Have you seen the colour of your face? That was fantastic. Shall we go again? Not me. I could live without doing that again. It was over so quickly. <laughs> you were determined not to enjoy it before we got on. You moaned about the cost. No, really, it wasn't that. I just thought there'd be more to it. <laughs> Judging by the colour of your face, I reckon you were scared. You'd probably have been sick if we'd stayed on any longer. Oh, yeah? Have you seen the colour of your face? Five. You hear an announcement at the train station. Who would find this announcement relevant? A. Passengers waiting for the train from Wellington. B. Passengers waiting to board the Hamilton train. C. Passengers waiting on platform 4. Attention, this is a platform alteration. All passengers waiting on platform 5 for the train to Hamilton should now go to platform 4 where the train is due to arrive. We regret that this train is subject to a delay of up to 20 minutes. We are very sorry for the inconvenience this may cause to your journey. The train now standing at platform 8 is the 8.15 to Wellington. Please note this is a special excursion train and is not timetabled. Attention, this is a platform alteration. All passengers waiting on platform 5 for the train to Hamilton should now go to platform 4 where the train is due to arrive. We regret that this train is subject to a delay of up to 20 minutes. We are very sorry for the inconvenience this may cause to your journey. The train now standing at platform 8 is the 8.15 to Wellington. Please note this is a special excursion train and is not timetabled. 6. You overhear two people in a clothes shop talking about some trousers. What do they both like? A. The style. B. The colour. C. The material. What do you think about these, then? I like the way they do up at the back. Hmm, they suit you. Black, though, not a very summery colour. Oh, I don't know. Black's good any time of the year. They look quite thick, are they? <laughs> not particularly. They're linen. They feel rather cool. Hmm. How much are they? Let's see. Eighty pounds. Hmm, quite a lot for a pair of trousers I don't really need. Oh, Jenny... Why are we wasting our time if you don't need them? Let's go and have lunch instead. What do you think about these, then? I like the way they do up at the back. Hmm, they suit you. Black, though, not a very summery colour. Oh, I don't know. Black's good any time of the year. They look quite thick, are they? <laughs> not particularly. They're linen. They feel rather cool. Hmm. How much are they? Let's see. Eighty pounds. Hmm, quite a lot for a pair of trousers I don't really need. Oh, Jenny, why are we wasting our time if you don't need them? Let's go and have lunch instead. Seven. You overhear a teacher talking to her students. What is she doing? A. Advising them of room changes. B. Informing them about additional classes. C. Explaining about new tutor group meeting times. Please look at the timetable you've just been given as there are one or two things I'd like to go over with you. This is the final one for the term and as you can see it doesn't include any extra lessons which will be arranged with you individually as usual. So no change there. However, please note that all the exam practice classes will be held in the new teaching block which was completed during the holidays. So you'll have to check the room numbers carefully. These changes do not affect tutor group meetings, which will be at 5pm every day, as they were last term. Please look at the timetable you've just been given, as there are one or two things I'd like to go over with you. 
This is the final one for the term, and as you can see, it doesn't include any extra lessons, which will be arranged with you individually as usual. So no change there. However, please note that all the exam practice classes will be held in the new teaching block, which was completed during the holidays. So you'll have to check the room numbers carefully. These changes do not affect tutor group meetings, which will be at 5 p.m. every day, as they were last term. Eight. You hear part of a radio interview with a rock musician who is performing in his hometown. What do the two speakers agree about? A. Tickets for rock concerts in the town are expensive. B. There is a lack of suitable venues in the town. C. The music scene in the town is very lively. Welcome back to your hometown, Rod. Great to be here. Quite a dynamic place for music these days, isn't it? It used to be more so, I think. Now your concert's on Sunday in Queen's Square. Tickets fifty pounds. Hmm, that's quite a lot. Standard price here these days, I'm told. And anyway, the kids can afford it. But it's ridiculous. A town this size should have a proper arena for concerts like these. Well, there's Colgate Hall. Yeah, great for classical concerts where everyone's sitting quietly in their seats, but not for rock bands. <laughs> <laughs> True, there's not much room to move around. Welcome back to your hometown, Rod. Great to be here. Quite a dynamic place for music these days, isn't it? It used to be more so, I think. Now your concert's on Sunday in Queen's Square. Tickets fifty pounds. Hmm, that's quite a lot. Standard price here these days, I'm told. And anyway, the kids can afford it. But it's ridiculous. A town this size should have a proper arena for concerts like these. Well, there's Colgate Hall. Yeah, great for classical concerts where everyone's sitting quietly in their seats, but not for rock bands. <laughs> <laughs> True, there's not much room to move around. That is the end.